Hey, welcome back to the channel. We are headed to the Walmart slash Sam's Club Electrify America location in Eau Claire. And because of some bad navigation, we are actually coming from Eau Claire. We're going to go down Highway 53 from the north. Normally, I would uh, take the highway, the interstate, to get to this place, which it's very close to I-94. It's the first exit once you come north on 53 off of I-94. But we're coming from the opposite direction after turning around. So we're going to get off here at Golf Road. The exit is Golf Road, but we're going to turn left here at the light. And I'm not exactly sure where it switches to Prill Road, but it switches. So, first right here, and you can see all of the uh, shopping and food options that we're going to pass here on Gateway Drive. Lots of options for you if you've got a long charge. got to wind all the way back probably could take another entrance but this is the way that we did it in here and I can see the chargers off in the center of the parking lot so while I wouldn't recommend doing this this is how we got to the chargers on that day let's get going Okay, today we are at the um, Electrify America in Eau Claire, and uh, here we go. So we're at a 350 charger, which uh, is not really necessary for my uh, Equinox, but it was the first one that we pulled into, so we get what we get. All right, so let's plug in. swipe to charge here because I've got the pass plus and here we go that was fast fast is good forty two cents per kilowatt hour uh, on the discount so not not too bad and let's, uh, not sure what speed we're gonna pull, but uh, we are pretty low on the pack. And there we go. And my car even liked it. Now we're at 31%. So uh, we should get a pretty good number. Okay, so Nana Cable. Um, these things are beefy, but there's actually quite a bit of um, cable here so you could go you could charge over on this side too I think if you wanted to uh, this one seems like it's extra long because they're both hanging down on the ground but uh, extra long cables are not a bad thing so Nana cable thumbs up um, minimal hassle um, because I have the pass plus I use the app and uh, I've never really run into a problem with electrify America's when I use the app um, so pretty easy uh, so thumbs up there too we are at a uh, Walmart slash Sam's Club location and uh, it's right off the highway I took a roundabout route because my car was taking me downtown Eau Claire versus coming here but uh, you know blame the car instead of me um, but uh, so you've got a Walmart there's bathrooms there's uh, some restaurants Quick Trip is relatively close. Um, some other shopping and food, so amenities would also get a thumbs up. Let's see. So uh, this thing is showing at 161 right now, and I'm gonna check my car, because 161 is uh, 162. All right, now it's kind of gotten smart. Like, wait, we can't put out that much for this car. So now we're down at 130. So the car is saying it's getting 90. I saw 120 there. So it seems like 
Okay, now the machine is showing 94 as well. So, um, pretty close to what uh, I would expect here. But uh, nobody here, so this is good. We're on a 350 plug. Expected speed, um, it was better than I, was ex I would expect uh, for uh, the first minute. And now it's kind of dropping back to what I would expect it to be able to take. Um, so thumbs up on expected speed as well. So the, uh, the worst part about this is that it's in the middle of like a huge parking lot. So you're uh, not necessarily, it's not necessarily easy to get to if there's a lot of traffic. So um, that would be my one, one complaint um, that it's in the middle of everything instead of kind of, I guess, do I really want this off at the end of the parking lot? I don't know. But that's how most, most chargers are. They're out kind of by themselves. This one's actually between Sam's Club and Walmart. So, um, uh-oh, charging session error. Please unplug. Okay, well, let's see what we're gonna do. We're gonna plug back in. So we were on for like two minutes. We got five, six kilowatts, which honestly is enough to get us to the next place we're going. But um, I'm gonna try to restart. I might have to amend my hassle, minimal hassle. Uh, it did for six minutes. Now it says this one's out of service. So let's start her up again. Okay, so minimal hassle it started up really easy but if I was going into Walmart to shop and it was it's gonna stop after six minutes I'd be kind of ticked off so I am gonna go thumbs down on minimal hassle um, I mean these are obviously older machines um, kind of original hardware so now we're back charging again thank you for the beep Equinox. Um, but again, like if it's gonna stop after six minutes for some error, and then I just have to unplug and plug back in, that's a thumbs down for me. So three out of four at uh, this location, I guess, is not too bad. Um, but the hassle one's the kind of one you want to just have it be easy, right? Like if a gas pump just stopped in the middle, which I guess I have had that happen too before, but I usually don't walk away from that. So, all right, well, we're back up and going, but uh, I'm still sticking with my thumbs down on minimal hassle here. It's also charging at 4.2 kilowatts. All right, it's up to 30. Don't make me go back and think about speed again. Well, I see it's finally jumped back up to over 100, so that's a good number, I guess. I was a little worried that it was going pretty slow. All right, well, we're back down to 31 kilowatts, so I'm gonna adjust again to a thumbs down for expected speed. We had a nice beginning, but over the long term, it just was not sustainable. A two out of four stop in Eau Claire, and we are on to the next charge. We'll see you there.